That's him painting, Chico's favorite painter. And now, Chico's favorite trim installer. Anyhow, so just got a new tool. You know, we love buying tools. This bad boy right here was extremely expensive. Cost me $400. Does come with the battery, but I'm using the old battery I have. I got my battery charging. Uh, anyhow, so this is a, a finished nailer. Uh, DeWalt cordless. So now I don't got to hook up my air compressor and all that. Uh, it was 400 bucks, 379 or something like that. And we are going to be installing this piece of trim. Uh, some work needed to be done behind it. So this was removed, and we are going to install this piece of trim and I'm going to show you how easy it's going to be uh, having this um, cordless uh, finished nail gun. So let me go set up in there and we'll get it done. Okay, here we go. So here's that piece. Here's the uh, DeWalt 18 gauge nailer. Uh, I'll give you a little example of what it is. So I have my nails in here. This is going to be an adjuster where you can move this back and forth to set your depth on your nail. Uh, put it to it and go for it. So I already primed and painted behind uh, the trim piece. Um, so it's a little bit wet, but it's okay to install this over, over it. It'll dry. This is actually the same piece that's going back on uh, that came off. So we're going to line it up to where it was. Just like that. Set a couple nails in it. Okay, so obviously we need to go a little bit deeper. Okay. And I'll be able to, uh, I'll, what the heck is that? I will, um, I will, what was I gonna say? Oh, I'll, 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 I'll set that after I'm done. So let's see what we got. One popped out, so be careful for that. So, okay, let's be careful. Okay, there we have it. Let it on. Put another one right here. That's actually fine. I think I'm going to put one right here. Okay. So you don't gotta put a thousand nails in like I did because obviously it's not gonna blow away. It's gonna be minimally uh, used. Uh, so I'm gonna set this nail. I'm gonna pop this one out and uh, we'll cock this in, let it dry. We'll paint it and uh, it'll be all good. So give me just a second and I'm gonna get the stuff to set this and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so. Um, so here's uh, some pliers. I'm gonna pop. I'm gonna cut that. And here's this, uh, a nail setter, a punch, or whatever you want to call it. So we'll go like this. Get that as close as possible. Uh, pick that up. Put it in the trash. Then we're gonna set that on this side as well. We'll sink it. like that okay and there's another one here pull back twice might need to set just a little bit you want to set it just under the surface okay so now that you did that then you'll get some lightweight spackle. And we will fill those holes with some lightweight spackle. 
Okay. As soon as they dry, we will sand them. Sand them, cock it in, let that dry. And we'll be good to go. So let me do this and then I'll get right back to you. Okay, it's nice and dry. I'm gonna take a, a sanding sponge, lightly sand over it all. Like that. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. You barely put anything on uh, the spackle. Barely put any. So when you sand it, you're just barely sanding the stuff off the surface. Okay. So once I sand it, like I'm doing right now, I will cock in this. Uh, we'll cock this in real quick, and then. Let that dry and we'll paint it and guarantee that you'll never know that it ever existed, ever happened. So the reason that I had to do this is because this is actually my house and uh, I installed all the doors and uh, all the doors and all the doors, the casings, trim, I, I, I installed all this. I ripped all the old stuff out. I put all new stuff in and uh, I sprayed all this stuff. But I am not a carpenter. I'm the best painting contractor, Chico. <laughs> I'm not a carpenter, so I, I didn't really know what I was doing. I did it, actually I did a really, I, I'm gonna say I did a pretty good job. But on this door in particular, I, I shimmed it too much on the left side. So it used to stick. Like just like in the winter time when it would get winter, everything would swell up and it would just be just enough to barely stick and it drove me crazy forever. So finally one day I said, I'm gonna fix this. <laughs> so what I did is I ripped this, this board off. I cut the shim back there. I set it back and, um, and fixed it. So that's why I'm doing this. That's why I did this. Uh, it was already sprayed out. Uh, all the casings were all sprayed, nothing was brushed. But because of the material that I'm using, um, once I brush it back on, <clears throat> excuse me, once I brush it back on, it'll level out and look like it was still sprayed. Uh, you won't be able to tell the difference. Uh, I'm using um, emerald urethane on this one. This is what I did the whole inside with uh, emerald. So I'm gonna uh, let this dry, I'm gonna, I'll brush it out. Put the door back on. I just took the hinges off. That way I can cock behind the hinges. Uh, I'll put it back on and this thing, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. This thing will be good as new. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to show you that. If I do, you'll see it. If not, have a wonderful day. SM Painting, Chico's favorite painter. If you ever need a nail gun, get yourself a DeWalt 18 gauge. The next one I'm going to get is a penny nail gauge. That's a 23. Uh, that's a great one. This saved me so much time because normally I have to get my air compressor, run a hose. It's extremely loud, very disruptive. Uh, so I said, finally, I got away from that. I got the, uh, the uh, battery operated one and it is beautiful. I'm not sponsored by DeWalt, but I'm waiting for them. DeWalt, Graco, and Titan. You guys give me a call. That's in painting, Chico's favorite painter. Don't ever forget it. Google hashtag Chico's favorite painter, and you will find me in all my material. Have a wonderful day. Thank you guys for watching. Okay, cocking is dry. Now I'm going to brush this in, and it'll look beautiful. Nobody will know.
At least I hope nobody knows. I shook this up. Or, I, yeah, I shook it up by hand. I'm kind of looking like it looks a little bit pink. So, I might need to brush this out. And then uh, stir it up again. And put a second coat. We'll see. Yeah, I think it's I think I need to stir it up just a little bit more because uh it's definitely a looks a little lighter. But I'll put this first coat on and it'll be good. I'll put the second one. I'll stir it up and put the second one on. So this is a good product right here. The urethane. Like I said, I sprayed it out, so <clears throat> this stuff levels out pretty good, and so once it dries, there won't be any brush strokes, or if they are, they're going to be so minimal, believe me, you'll never, you know, you won't notice it. So just know that for the future, if you're doing this, now if I only brushed it, yes, you might see, the, you'll, you'll probably see the brush strokes, but because I sprayed it, and laid that foundation down. I don't have to apply so much product. So that's why it minimizes it. Minimizes the brush strokes. Cause not so much product has to be put on. brand new looks like looks like it did when I first did it I mean, you may be asked wondering you didn't have to prime that um, that uh, what's it called that spackle no the spackles you don't have to prime it well this specific one that I have doesn't need to be primed
All right, there it is, guys. That looks came out beautiful. Perfect. Came out beautiful. Let that dry. I don't think that I'm gonna need to put a second coat. I think it'll dry in, darkens up just a little bit when it dries in. But there it is, man. That's him painting, Chico's favorite painter.